Hi, I'm Dr. Robert Cohen. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can improve your timing on ACT Science. Now, timing is really difficult on this section. You only have 52 and a half seconds per question, and they give you like much more information than you could ever actually read and process in the 40 minutes given, at least more information that most of us could ever read and process in 40 minutes. In order to get through everything and to finish on time, you should skip uh, reading the passage and just go right to the questions. You want to do this for every type of passage except the conflicting viewpoints passage. That's the passage where you have uh, two or maybe three people sharing their opinion on uh, on some topic, and it's all written, it's all text, there are no visuals. So for the, the one conflicting viewpoints passage, you're going to have to read that in its entirety in order to answer the questions. But for the other six, five or six passages, don't bother reading the information, just go right to the questions. Now, the... Um, you know, and the ACT does not expect you to read all the information. They, they know that they've provided more than you could really read and make sense of in 40 minutes. So part of what they're testing you on is your ability to identify what's, what's essential information and then to discard what you don't need. What works so well about working from the questions to, um, you know, to the information is that most information you need is contained in the visuals. So you read the question and then identify where you need to look. It will tell you figure one, table two, look at that table figure graph, and then find the information you need in that visual. So it's a very quick process. Now, some of the questions will require a little more knowledge. You may have to read you may find that the visual alone won't tell you what you need, and you need to look, read a bit of the experiment description or the introduction to the passage. And that's okay. If you need to do that, then do that and, and scan those areas to find what you need to find. Um, but that said, only go to the text as a last resort if you can't find what you need from the visuals. As you go through this process, another way you can really uh, speed things up a bit is by grouping the questions. Um, so first try and answer all the questions about experiment one or figure one. Then go on to the questions that ask about experiment two or figure two. If you approach the questions this way, um, your understanding of the figures, the information in the figures, all of that material will be more fresh in your mind um, when you need it. There are about five questions or so on each science section that are conceptual. So they're not asking about information or data that you can quickly pull from a visual or, uh, you know, they're instead they're asking about, you know, um, how would we set this experiment up differently if we wanted to do this? Why was the experiment set up this way? These are questions that require you to understand really the whole passage and, and how things are working. Um, so when you get to these, it's best to, when you're working through a passage, save them for last in that passage. And then, you know, look back through the intro, the text, and see if you can find what you need to make sense of, of the uh, passage and to answer the question. The conceptual question is usually, if it appears, it will be the last or second to last question uh, in a passage. If you're not able to answer these questions within 90 seconds tops, move on. Make an educated guess, choose what you think might be the best answer, and just keep working. Otherwise, you're going to burn too much time. There's only a few of these questions, so if you miss some of them, uh, they're not going to have a huge impact on your score. In order to improve your time on the ACT, on ACT science, definitely use this, this strategy, this question first strategy, um, but you also will of course need to take a lot of uh, real timed practice sections. Um, and I have a lot of strategies on my, on my website and on YouTube for, for the science section you can use. Keep track of why you're missing questions, learn from your mistakes, and then review uh, what you've learned often. Uh, so if you couple that, uh, 
you know, repetitive time practice and those strategies with this method, I think you'll find that you will, over time, hit your optimal score. If you found this video helpful, please like it, share it, or subscribe to the channel, uh, all of which will help uh, me find more people looking for this type of info. Thanks.